Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian at uh, the Museum of Flight, which is at Boeing Field in uh, Tukwila, Washington. And we are in one of the most historic structures in aviation, which is the Red Barn. And we're joined by uh, Ted Hutter, who is the uh, spokesman here at the museum. Tell us why this structure is so significant from an aviation history standpoint. Well, this is what's known as the Boeing Red Barn. It was first made in 1909. It's regarded as the oldest aircraft factory in the world. And it began that job in 1915. So the story goes is that Mr. Boeing, he was a yachtsman, as men of means were at that time. So his yacht was actually made in this building. When and, he, and probably from his own lumber, right? Because he was also a lumber baron. I'm sure of that. Yeah, that was just nearby across the waters here. Um, so when he took up an interest in aviation after going to Los Angeles and seeing the aviation exposition there, he said, I want to get into this. So now World War I, people aren't buying yachts anymore. This business is, is losing ground. Right. So Boeing makes an offer, says, I will buy your business for a dollar, but I'm going to keep everyone employed and we're going to start making airplanes. And that was more or less the beginning of it. So they started, they, they moved from shipbuilding, boat building, to airplanes, same materials, same skills, you know, is all wood. And it was located, of course, on the water, on the Duwamish River, not too far from here. And uh, the first contracts, the first planes that they were making were, of course, uh, some types of seaplanes. And what are among the programs, you know, we're standing in front of a Model 40 uh, now, what are some of the aircraft uh, that were built? And this structure had a remarkably long lifespan if you consider that it went into the jet age. Oh, that's, that's what's amazing about this, is that it started here and then in one way or another, in the drafting rooms or in the offices, it was part of the history of all the Boeing airplanes right into the jet age. So we're talking about the B-17, the B-29, into the B-47, and probably a little bit of the B-52 happened right here as well, you know, with all this woodwork around you. Uh, now, you said that it was on the banks of the, of the river. Um, you know, what happened to it when, when it was decommissioned? Because it was quite decrepit not all that long ago. Oh yeah, it, it was looking very bad by the 1970s. Uh, the company didn't have much interest in it at that time because they were expanding, they needed the room. But fortunately, some people within the company and with the museum, which had a different name back then, it was the Pacific Northwest Aviation and Historical Society. Um, but they wanted to save the building and it was mainly through Bill Boeing Jr.'s efforts. He was the one that finally said, okay, we are going to save this building. He put up the money to make it happen and they barged it downstream or upstream as the case may be and um, towed it to this area and this became the original site of the Museum of Flight here on Boeing Field. And it's known as Plant One, isn't it? Because it was the first Boeing airplane right. factory. Right. Uh, Plant Two, sadly, is no longer with us. Uh, that was demolished just a few years ago. Sir, thanks very much. Sure. Thank you, Vago.